Hello boys and girls, how are you today? I am also fine, thank you. My name is Miss Wanjiko and today we're going to be studying the word of God from the book of Philippians. Yes, Philippians chapter 1. Are you ready boys and girls? Okay, before we start our study today, we need to pray. And how do we pray? Uh -huh. When I want to pray, I put my hands together, I bow my head, I close my eyes, and then I talk to God. Let's talk to God together, boys and girls. Dear God, open our ears to hear from you and open our eyes to see wonderful things from your word. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Excellent, boys and girls. What is this? A Bible, good. And what is written inside? Uh -huh. The word of God, excellent. And today, from the word of God, in the book of Philippians chapter one, Boys and girls, Philippians, uh -huh. Philippians chapter 1, we are going to be studying the word of God. Excellent, boys and girls. How do we get ourselves ready as we sit down, settle down to hear the word of God? Uh -huh. My ears, my ears to listen. My mouth, my mouth to zip, zip, zip. And I fold my hands and I settle down unless the teacher asks me a question. Good boys and girls. Now, boys and girls, this book is a letter. Uh -huh. Philippians is a letter. Who wrote that letter? Who knows? Yes, that letter was written by Paul to the people who are living in the church in Philippi. Excellent, boys and girls. Now, this is what I want you to know, boys and girls. That when Paul is writing this letter, he's not writing from home. Mm -mm. He's not writing from a hotel, eh? from holiday. Mm -mm. Paul is writing from a Roman prison. Yes, boys and girls. We are told that for the sake of the gospel, Paul had been tied and taken to prison. So he is in jail. He is tied up. And he's writing this letter from jail, boys and girls. Now, how is Paul going to get this letter from jail to the church in Philippi? Do you want to know? Good. The Bible says that the church of Philippi had sent a man called Epaphroditus. That's a long name. Do it right? Epaphroditus. Excellent. The church had sent Epaphroditus to visit Paul in prison and take for him some help. Okay? So Epaphroditus had moved from the church in Philippi, gone to prison to take Paul some supplies. And then now Paul was sending back Epaphroditus with this letter from prison from him to the church in Philippi. You got it, boys and girls. And what does Paul say in this letter? Boys and girls, in chapter 1 of Philippians, Paul says three main things. How many boys and girls? Three main things. Do you want to know what they are? Yes, let's study. The first one, he said that he is giving thanks and he also prays for the church in Philippi. Do you want to hear some of the things he says? From the word of God, excellent. He says, I thank God in my remembrance of you. When Paul would think about the church in Philippi, he would thank God for them. That's good. And then he was also praying for them. You know why? Because they were his friends and they were partnering with him. Do you know what is to partner? To work together. Uh -huh. Paul was in prison, yet they would send help to him. Like for example, now through Epaphroditus. Good boys and girls. And then, you know when they were sending the, the partnership and the help, he says, they were also partnering in the gospel. What did we say is the gospel? The good 
news. Yes. Do you remember when we studied in Mark chapter 16? When Jesus told the disciples to do what? Go tell it on the mountain. Over the hills and everywhere that Jesus is Lord. Good. That's a good news. So now... The people in Philippi were helping Paul because now they were helping him, sending supplies, and Paul was strengthened and he was speaking the good news even in prison. Boys and girls, he continues and says that he holds the people of Philippi in his hands, eh, whether he's in prison, because they are confirming the gospel by their love, by their care, by their partnership. Then he says that God is his witness, that he longs for them. He longs to be with them. He's separated from them, but now he longs to be with them, with the affection of Jesus. And then he says that he's praying that their love uh -huh, may increase and increase, and their knowledge to know and also to be discerning. Boys and girls, he also says... So that they may, may be able to approve what is excellent and they may be pure and they may be blameless for the day of Christ. What Paul is praying for the people in Philippi is that the good news they have received, they will continue to grow in their knowledge of God, in their study of scripture, in their prayer, in their sharing of the gospel, in their love for one another, in their obedience that they would grow. Is that not a good prayer for your friends? Uh -huh. Paul is a good friend. He's praying for his friends to grow. Boys and girls, then there is number two. The other thing he says, guess what? Even when I'm here, bound by these chains, he's bound in chains in a Roman jail. Guess what is happening? Paul is still proclaiming. He's still telling it even in jail about Jesus, yes, he's talking about Jesus, the work of Jesus, the finished work of Christ on the cross. Do you remember what we said, boys and girls, in our Easter stories? Uh -huh, that we were separated from a holy God because we were sinful, but by the cross of Jesus, we were reconciled. That is the good news Paul is sharing even when he is bound in chains, boys and girls. Uh -huh. When we are home now, we are in lockdown. We're not in a place that we like. Have we about our faith or are we still telling it everywhere? Boys and girls, let us learn from Paul that even in chains bound, he was still proclaiming the good news. The third thing that Paul says that when I am here, there's a possibility that I might die. There's also a possibility that I might live. That is the third part. And do you know what he says to the people? That he continues to rejoice. And he says, and that is our memory verse for today. In Philippians chapter 1 verse 21. To live is Christ. To die is gain. Do you want to try it? To live is Christ. Let's go. To live is Christ. And to die is is gain to live to live is christ and to die is gain what is he saying that if he lives he will be able to proclaim the gospel more but if he dies he will be together with christ so either way there is gain but what does he say it's better for him to live so that he can continue to do what to proclaim the gospel of jesus Christ. Boys and girls, that is Philippians chapter 1. What did we say it is? A letter from Paul to the church in Philippi. And what is he telling the church? Number one, he thanks God for them and he also prays so many things for them, mostly that they may be established, that they may continue to grow in love, in proclaiming the gospel. And then number two, what does he tell them? That if if I am bound in these chains, in prison, the gospel of Jesus continues to be proclaimed. Everybody here from the guards, from the jailers, they know my story and they know about the Jesus I'm proclaiming. And then the number three, what does it tell them? Where our memory verse is coming from? Uh -huh. That to live is Christ and to die is gain. Boys and girls. 
He says whether he lives or dies, he belongs to who? To Jesus. Boys and girls, I want us to remember, just like Paul, it doesn't matter the circumstances we find ourselves in. Remember, Paul was bound in prison. Right now, we are in difficult circumstances. We are at home, away from our friends, away from school, away from some of the people we love. But should that make us stop speaking and proclaiming our faith? No, boys and girls. Wherever we find ourselves in, we must continue to proclaim the good news. Now, I have an activity for you, boys and girls. I want you to write a letter. One, I want you to write a letter to God. Uh -huh. Tell him the things that you're grateful for, the questions you have for him. Write a letter to God. Number two, I want you to write a letter to one of your friends. A cross is falling to one of your friends. And then number three, one of your friends tell them how you miss them, how you love them. And we're writing this with a pen and paper. Okay, boys and girls? Good. And then the last letter, I want you to write that letter to yourself. Yes. I want you to tell yourself what you are learning during this time and how you are changing and the person you're becoming and the decisions you are making for God. Okay, boys and girls? Good! That is Philippians chapter 1. Do you want us to pray together now? Excellent. Let us pray together. Dear God, thank you for your word. Help us to be like Paul, to always know that to live is Christ and to die is gain. So everything we do, we should do it for you. Also help us to proclaim your gospel, the good news, even during this time of lockdown. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Excellent, boys and girls. See you next week for another Bible story. In the meantime, we are writing our letters. Okay, bye-bye.